Yeah, man, y'all know what it is, man. This is boy Steve nigga. Young Stupid Diamonds, Taliban, Sharat, Mr. Inglewood. Let's talk Carmaine Wilson. Listen, this is how I knew it was real Carmaine Wilson. Listen, check this out. So, okay, and Lorena and Eugene Spencer. Okay, let's start by saying, remember that Lorena SIM card I had? That, and I keep talking about, about this Carmaine Wilson situation. Look, check this out. Okay, I'm pretty sure back in 2014, yeah, everybody know I was God, Steve Steve, then DJ Academics blogged about me. You feel me? Listen, I put the Lorena SIM card. I put that number, that 630 area code. I put that on my YouTube and Kwame Wilson family, friends and shit like that, they got the riding around looking for me and shit. And they finally found me in Blue Island. And it was like some Kwame Wilson type niggas, you feel me? They had like homosexual appearance and shit. And they had like piercings and, and shit, but they was kind of scraped, you feel me? And they was basically saying, like, they was talking to each other in the corner and shit. They was like, and they was basically saying to my face, like, basically saying, like, how they was gonna beat the fuck out of me and shit, cause they ain't know how I got that 630 Eric code from that Lorena SIM card. And I'm also hearing from the streets that that SIM card that I had, you feel me? It was some shit in there. It was some shit in there. And like I tell people, the only how, the only how I got to Lorena Crib, Lorena Johnson, that's been accused of the, the getaway driver, listen. Her baby daddy, father, asked me, do I wanted to go to her house? Because I was standing in my house, right? And I had no heat in my house. It was wintertime and shit. So we go to her house, like, I think two or three days and shit. Now, listen. Now, y'all know the um, Nick stories, the, the cornbread, the rap from Chicago, all them little stories, them shows that they was having and shit. They had hella posters in there, you feel me? They had number like hella posters of the shit. All the all the little story um T V shows that they was doing the shit. All that shit was in the trap pods and everything. But check this out. When we went in that bitch, somebody kicked the door off the motherfucking hinges. When I say kick the door off the hinges, they kicked the door off the motherfucking hinges. I swear to God, boy. So we had to put the bed against the door for we won't Fuck around and get killed while we sleep in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? To protect our crib. You feel me? And like I keep saying, motherfuckers knew that my name was in this shit. You feel me? That it was a hit out on me because of this shit. Because my cousin Jermaine stole this SIM card from me, which is the Lorena phone, the same phone. I keep trying to tell Old Block that's not the same phone with the SIM card. From the C-Day situation, that's not the same phone that C-Day dropped. It's not. That's all that I can say about the shit, you feel me? It's, and truth be told, I think they broke Lorraine the crib to get that money, bro. Period, bro. And it, and it was so crazy while we was in there. I think like the next day or some shit, Lorraine the grand, granddaddy come over there. He kicked us out and shit. Kicked me and my friend... Daddy out, which is Lorena, baby daddy, father. You know what I'm saying? He said we was eating up all her food and shit, you know what I'm saying? So he kicked us out the crib. And that was the last time we been up back. Shit, that's the last time shit I even heard from they ass. Which is her uncle and shit. You feel me? And motherfuckers trying to get me locked up and, and you got Kwame what's the family. You feel me? Trying to get me to sign for a beneficiary and shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to basically set me up for some shit. Lorena Nim already set me up for two murders that I did not commit. That's why I'm going so motherfucking hard. You feel me? I'm going hard for this shit, nigga. Because I'm a free innocent man. And I keep saying this shit. My words is not going to change. With on video, in person. A lot of detective tests is going to be the same thing. And I'm going to walk away a freak innocent man. And this goes back to my cousin. It was a camera in my house on Harper. H-O-O-O-H-O-O-P-E-R Harper. 
It was a camera jam. It was a camera in my house for thousands of viewers to watch. Now listen. Now everybody can go back to them videos when I was in my living room, sitting down, sitting down on my couch or sitting on the couch, and I was like, "Shit, I don't give no fuck." Say what I forgot. Want to say freedom of speech. Now listen. Now let's go back to what I was saying. Shit, I had to leave my house. Somebody tried to keep me in my crib. I'm in the streets now. I'm homeless. You feel me? So I go to the shelter. This is real nigga shit. As I'm walking, as I'm watching the TV, you got like, I might over exaggerate. Let's say you got a thousand motherfuckers on the left side, thousand motherfuckers on the right side. And motherfuckers like, hell no. Man, hell no. Man, fuck that. Hell no, man. Y'all trying to help this one black boy use the Second Amendment right to avoid jail time? That's what they were saying. That's how I knew it was a camera in my motherfucking crib. Period. And niggas working with the police. Yeah, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. This your boy, Stupid Diamond. Let's talk about man Wilson. Listen. To all the motherfuckers that's out there, man. Listen. I want y'all to stop trying to do everything in America to be around me. I don't have no money about that Kwame Wilson situation. I did not help him kill his mama. I wasn't a shooter. I didn't stab nobody. I wasn't a getaway driver. You know what I'm saying? Kwame Wilson got caught. They pieced clues together from phone records, from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and et cetera. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers is trying to rock them because they feel like I have some money. I had got paid a nice percentage. And people is thinking like I can't spend the money yet because I know that this shit has been investigated. It's an open case. Which means that they trying to give me, they, they trying to find out to see do I got some money. And why the feds investigating on me. Which means that so they can come up with all type of ways to, to come up with clues. To, to get me locked up, you know what I'm saying, and find all type of ways so I can get locked up. First of all, like I keep telling people, I don't know Spencer, I don't know Barman Wilson, or I don't know Lorena, you know what I'm saying. I personally know Lorena, baby daddy. I, I know her baby daddy, I give, I give him that, I know her baby daddy. I don't know Lorena, you know what I'm saying. It's a sad situation that his baby mama, you know what I'm saying, um, participated in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Sad situation. You know what I'm saying? I was good. I was I was friends with her um, baby daddy and shit. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this: about the little Rainer situation, I seen her baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? I was kicked it with him, smoked with him, kicked him with him for a whole day. He never said anything to me about this case, you know, you know what I'm saying, and this goes back to what I was saying, which meaning my family was informed about the allegations against me, like one day, it's a camera in my house, right, my husband was like, Steve, um, well, whenever you want to come talk to me about something, just feel free to, which meaning he wanted me to confess to him, and he was going to keep this uh, secret within the family, you know what I'm saying? But he was working with Kwame Wilson family to get me locked up for murder. You know what I'm saying? It hit the news, Chicago news, hit the hit the radio stations, it's all over the world. I've been harassed, all type of shit. I'm not snitching, but I've been had death threats, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let this shit get me down though. I got, I got faith in God. By the grace of God, I ain't in jail because there's so many people out here getting locked up for shit they have not done. You know what I'm saying? And this is a sad situation. And like I tell people, I don't have any money pertaining Kwame Wilson, Mother Dev. I don't. Ha I don't know. I don't have no money from the life insurance policies. I don't have no money from that ninety that ninety thousand dollars. I feel like this is a cover up. This motherfuckers is trying to kill me for my insurance. You know what I'm saying? Like the same situation with my man with some mom and shit. Like the same situation. And I think this is a fucked up situation. And I'm tired of going through it. You know what I'm saying? I, motherfuckers want me to, like, pick sides with my man with I'm not picking no side with my man with because he the one 
at the audacity to set that shit up. I don't want no parts of it. And I don't have no money. So if y'all thinking I'm, I'm finna hold on so many years to this money until I feel like I'm in the clear, I can spin it, and the police can, you know what I'm saying, investigate on me out of all these years and shit, but I mean, cruised up and they already told me personally when I went to the Chicago police station on the 111th, you know what I'm saying, in the hundreds, you know what I'm saying, to clear my name and say there's nothing they can do about the situation. They understand what I was saying in the phone. They understand how I got it. But that don't mean you did it. You know what I'm saying? That's what they told Carmen with the family 9 out of 10. Because that's what they told me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not signing no, no bogus ass check for Carmen Wilson. For he can get out and I can go to jail for it. For not to be the fall guy. None of that shit. That's not the same phone I had. Um, that's not the same phone I had as um, Carmen Wilson. Um, one day I was with my nigga, you know what I'm saying, Lorena, baby daddy, father at Lorena crib because somebody tried to break, somebody broke in her crib while she was gone. I guess they broke in her crib to try to get the money from the Carmen Carmen Wilson situation, but she didn't have no money in her crib. So that's a, that's another reason how I even got the, the phone I was saying about, about the SIM card and shit like that. That's how I got it because my uh, friend, father, let me see the phone. You know what I'm saying? Now, I could probably understand that I made a, uh, a careless mistake by even talking about insurance money with the phone he let me use. But it was a situation with me being shot and deaf and shit about my insurance. And I was talking about that in the phone. I can take a lot of the technical tests. I can talk to the family, personally. But I'm tired of talking about it. I just want my money that people owe me. I'm tired of suffering because of shit. I didn't kill his mama. My mama is deceased. I know how I feel to lose a mama. And I will not, never been right to tell somebody to kill a mama. Man. I'm just tired of going through this shit. My life have not been the same since this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be crazy that some females be like scared to talk to me and shit. Like on some relationship shit because they think I'm gonna fuck around and kill them for money and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just want motherfuckers to stop fucking with my insurance. You know what I'm saying? Why I'm at these nursing homes and shit. And trying to get me to sign for some money connected with Carmaine Wilson for I can go down and that's how they piece clues together which is the feds and most likely when I sign for that money from Carmaine Wilson I'm going to jail because that shit so I'm going to let people know I'm not fucking crazy I'm tired of going through I do not have Carmaine Wilson I don't know him I don't know Lorena I don't know Spencer I know Lorena baby daddy that's all period yeah, man, y'all know what fuck going on, man. This boy Steve Steve, nigga, y'all already know how I'm rocking, man. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying, gang shit, man. Check it out, man. Let's talk big enough black, man. We outside in the daylight, nigga. Daytime shit, y'all know. Check it out, something different. Hey, let's talk to new traffic, big enough black and friendly boy. We been BDK. Listen, big enough black, bro. What's happening, man? Hey, check it out, though. Listen. Real niggas shit, keep this shit on honey. Y'all niggas will never let me get that shit. Grabbed all them cheap, keep old blocks on and shit. Let alone making them bitches. Let alone try to rock with y'all shit and get in the BDK movement without feeling some type of way. I don't know, it's either some fuck shit going down or y'all really rocking with them. Y'all probably ain't even rocking with the nigga though. Y'all probably just trying to get on. You know what I'm saying? He got a hot sound or some shit. But I feel like y'all niggas would have never let me did that shit, bro. I heard the track that we've been BDK, you know what I'm saying? It's decent. I ain't gonna lie, but, you know, y'all niggas will never let me did that shit. Real nigga shit. Tukaville will never let me did that shit. Who else will never let me did that shit? All y'all guys will never let me did that shit. EBT, especially Bridge Squad, they will never let me did that shit because they had 300 shit. You know what I'm saying? And what's the world going to, man? Let's tell y'all. <laughs> man, y'all niggas crazy. All of a sudden, you got whiskey and shit and that blow. Got a new song blowing shit, you know what I'm saying? So you know that shit crazy. Hey, 
Hey, hey, big and a black. Hey, you need to tell that nigga Finny boy. Stop making them BDK songs if you really don't want to get in that motherfucker though. For real, if you don't want to get in that water, though, man. You know, it's a lot of blood shit behind this shit, dog. Huh? Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, though, man, you know, we gonna keep this shit lightweight, you know what I'm saying, something light, you know what I'm saying, we don't really make the video too long, though, but, you know, it's all the nigga wanted to say, though, man, but, hey, tell that nigga Fendi boy, dog, real shit, if he don't want to talk no gun the rest of his life, he got that BDK shit, man, you know what I'm saying, but anyways, y'all know fuck going on, it's boy Steve Steve, nigga, young stupid diamond Taliban, aka that rap out of your slum kid, man, what's happening, like, subscribe to the like, subscribe.